Hey guys, today I'm headed to a little field next to my house to do some putter practice. Make sure that when you're going out and throwing your practice shots, that you throw some with your putters. It's going to check your form. It's going to get you back to the basics. We'll see you soon. Hey YouTube, this is John coming back to you with a short video on putters today. So today we're going to be talking about a few putters that you may or may not like. Um, they're pretty much staples to my own bag. And for this particular video, we're going to talk about things other than your traditional putting putters. Um, for those, I use the first run Paul Macbeth Lunas from Discraft. Um, absolutely love them. They've got just a little bit of stability and um, I feel really confident putting with these. But as I say, this one, we're going to talk about throwing putters. So your throwing putters, that's a very important part of the game that a lot of us overlook. A throwing putter can get you out of a lot of trouble. So today I'm going to talk about my putters. For anything inside of about 160, maybe even 200, into about 40 feet or so. That's what I'm gonna be focusing on. So anything inside the circle, like I said, I stick to my Lunas. For anything from about 40 feet out to about mm, 60 feet, 80 feet, where I feel comfortable with my jump putt, I go to a Pro D Roach. I like the Pro D Roach because it's very straight. Um, stays with the non-beaded. I like those for my spin putt when I'm up and trying to get that jump putt. I know that I can pop them flat and they're just gonna ride. <clears throat> when I go outside of that for a little bit more stability, I switch back to the Luna, but I actually go to the Proto Luna. The Proto Luna, I feel, has got a little bit more stability. If I throw it hard, it'll go nice and straight, maybe push right, and then always come back, finish neutral. It's a pretty straight flying disc, and I really like the way it holds up in the winds when you're throwing it. A step up from that, when you're in trouble, or if you just need that overstable finish, most of us carry a zone. If you throw Discraft and you don't have a zone in your bag, you need to pick one up and you need to try it. It is a staple. I would not throw around if I did not have a zone. It doesn't matter if I throw nothing but Discraft or I throw a full bag of any of the other manufacturers or I throw a complete and utter mixed bag. You will not find me on the course without a zone. I absolutely love them. Anything from about 220 in that I'm going to throw forehand is going to be with a zone. Anything that I need to curve a nice line, I know that I can throw the zone on a little bit of a flex shot and always get it to pan out. And then anything that I would like to maybe throw on an Anheuser, I can throw this on a pretty steep Anheuser and just get it to pan. Whereas with a throwing putter as like my Pro D Roach, if I throw it forehanded on a little bit of Anheuser, I know that it's just going to hold that line and go completely all the way. So let's take a look at a couple shots. So I went out to the field today and I've recorded a couple. I'm going to throw them in right here. Hey, stick around. I'll come back to you, talk to you in a minute.
Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. So, as you can see, I was throwing a couple different shots. I threw some that hyzered, I threw some that went straight, and I threw some that anhyzered. And these are all shots that we need to practice. I know throwing putters gets kind of monotonous. We all want to go out and throw our drivers and get these big booming, you know, drives that go 350, 400, 500. I don't throw that far, but some of us do. So, let's uh Let's look at some of these putter shots. If you notice that some of them I'll throw flat and they'll hyzer out. So that's something a little more overstable, like a Proto Luna or a Challenger. I really like to throw Challengers. I don't currently have them in my bag at the moment because I feel that any shot that I throw with a Challenger, I can either disc up to a Comet or a Mantis or pardon the motorcycle i'm in the middle of a park on a busy street next to me so anything that i i need to throw my challenger for i feel like i can do that same thing with my zone with just a little bit more accuracy so personally i stick to the zone there so on those anheuser shots i always stick to something like a pro d roach I like the Pro D Roach because I know that I can throw them really hard and flat and get them to carry. I really like the way that this disc will actually turn over for you without too much problem. You can throw it flat or just a slightest little Anheuser and it will hold a very, very nice line. So if you have any questions, you like my comment, you like my content, you want to hit me up with anything like that. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button so you can see all my um, upcoming videos. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. It truly makes me know that you guys like what I'm coming up with and coming out with. And I'll be back to you soon. Hey, have a good one, guys. Peace.